I came back for the love of this, to come and shut this man up. A little rat, a little weasel, a little hard man in groups. I've met many of them through my years. A man who grows in numbers, but on, on his own and when confronted in a similar situation, cowers away. And that's what you saw with that little shite on the bus over there. He shit his jocks after, after doing something to a, his own country man uh, that had nothing got to do with anything. Uh, and that's it. I came back for the love of fighting and the love of war. And this I am going to truly, truly love putting a bad, bad beating on this little glass jaw rat. Habib. Of money from the Russian, Russian people started to invest and pump money into his gym. So he started to grow in power. Started, started to gain this false power and started thinking he was a little hard man, tough guy. Then she hit the fan with your man. He gets locked up and now there's not a being left. And now here I am to put the nail in the coffin. That's how it began. He was a fanboy. Thought he was a little hard man after a while with some money like many people do. Money and numbers. Now the money's gone. The numbers are still there, but trust me, his, his own countrymen, his own people that he's, that he's turned his back on, they want to see him gone too. And I am going to do it in the name of the Russian people. First thing I, when I showed up at that bus, I showed up my hands to let it know I come here unarmed, no weapons, step off the bus, you talk the big game, now I'm here, he done fucking nothing, he sat and took a shit on that bus, hid, a, hid and cowered behind fucking women and caused what happened to happen, so that's fucking that. <laughs>
and of course you'll see on October 6th the lessons I have learned. I'm in a right cell now. in Brooklyn, I This is my third fight in last Shui nine months, you know, and 26 and all, never lose round. And I don't know what this guy talking about. I don't understand what he's gonna do 6 October. He think whiskey gonna help him? I don't understand. <laughs> oh yes. N next question. Uh, you have a little stop three that time stops the bulls. He, you tap four times. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You tap three. You tap three four times. You tap four times. Someone, I'll tap your head off the like canvas, chicken. kid. You tap like chicken four times. I'll tap your time. head off the canvas. Next question. Round in mind. As long as it takes. I believe Warren. He's a glass jaw. The Chechens, the Chech my Chechen friends, the Vainaki soldiers, they told me that they have chicken jaws in Dagestan. And I believe them because I know a glass jaw when I see one. And I've seen this man wobble many times. I've seen his brother sparked unconscious in another promotion. I know he is afraid of a smack. And if you're afraid of a smack off me, a smack will feel like a double barrel shotgun. So I believe the inside the force. But... I have been wrong before. I will be prepared for five rounds. You're looking at a fighting veteran. I've came through it all. I've been through it all. I've been on both sides of the world. I've been on the boxing side and I've been on this side. I'm ready for any occurrence. But this man is a glass jaw bomb. And I'm going to shatter him like that glass was shattered. May God have mercy on its soul on October 6th. Connor, uh bus incident from Brooklyn into the promos for, for this fight. What was that decision like? Was that tough? Was there any consideration about not doing that? No, no, I hope. No. Not tough at all. It's, it's part of the storyline. It is what it is. There's been other situations where things have happened leading up to a fight and you play the story the way that the story played out. Connor, you thought, you thought it should have been all in your hand. What's, what's going on? I just head? thank the Lord Jesus Christ that that man had not got the balls to step foot off, so, off that bus. Because trust me, or that the bus door did not open. Because if that bus door had have opened, this man would be dead right now. He would be in a box, and I would be in a cell. And we would not have this great fight ahead of us. So, there are many things I, I, I can speak on about that incident, and about the lead-up, and about my emotions, and things like that. But, there are still many ongoing situations involved in it. So, I'm just here. For me, it's most important to six o'clock. When cage closed, we're going to watch. The Chechen people know what We're I'm talking about say. when I call this man a coward. When I call this father oh. a quivering coward. Which, which Chechen the, people? Him and Kadyrov were at a mosque together. And he posts a picture of Kadyrov on his Instagram site. Kadyrov is the Chechen dictator, a, a, a crazy man, don't get me wrong. But K Khabib's father, lick arse, lick arse of fucking Hulahan, posts a picture of Kadyrov at this mosque. And, he, and, and Khabib's father posts a picture of, and the caption is, together we are stronger. It, it, it's, it's such fake respect out of fear. No, it's, no, it's, no. Uh, The Chechens You're... know, the Chechen people know that if the tables were turned and there was an opportunity for his father to stab that man in the back, he would do it in a heartbeat to take over. And he did not do nothing. And that's why he is a quivering coward, because he showed fake respect out of fear. And that's where that came from. I don't know what his father teach him, but my father teach me, you cannot never give up and... Be respect always. This is what my father teach me. And I never give up and I always yeah, the respect. Dad, the father but I don't know about picture. his father. Just I don't want to talk shit location. about his father like, because I, I cannot. India, pal. Because, you know, I hope I don't bump into and, uh, you, sir. About this guy, we, I'm going to teach don't, him a little bit. I'm going to teach him inside the cage. Fake and then I know how I like talk with my opponents. I'm going to talk with him, teach him, like give him a little bit master class. Disrespecting your president, Vladimir Putin? No, why not? Are you disrespecting no. your president, Vladimir no. Putin? No. Then what do you mean by that? No. I don't want to take picture with what him. What do you mean by that then? What? Explain what, what do you mean. Are you what? disrespecting okay, your president? Okay, I'm going to explain. Sit, <laughs> sit. I'm going to explain. Okay. Fake rat. About like Shoot your mouth. Yeah. Oh. Ali Abdil Aziz. Mad Paris. Ali. Ali. Paris snitch. Ali. I know Ali. a lot about you as well, you mad rat. I know a lot about you as well. You keep your mouth shut here. 